In this video, we'll write the balanced equation for CaO plus C, calcium oxide plus carbon. So let's first count the atoms up and then balance the equation. We have one calcium, one oxygen, and one carbon atom. In the products, we have one calcium with these two oxygens here. And here's where people usually have problems. We have two carbons, but don't forget this carbon here in the carbon dioxide. So we have three total carbons. We can easily balance these carbon atoms because this carbon's all by itself. If we change the coefficient here, it won't change anything with the calcium or oxygen. So let's focus on these oxygen atoms here. If we put a two in front of the calcium oxide, one times two, that gives us two. And the two applies to everything, so one times two for the oxygen, that gives us two oxygens. We've balanced the oxygens. Let's again leave the carbon to last since it's by itself, balance the calcium atoms. Put a two here, one times two, that'll give us two calcium atoms. Those are balanced. Now we need to update the carbon atoms though. Two times the two, that gives us four, plus we have one carbon in the carbon dioxide for a total of five. So now all we have to do to get five carbons here in the reactants, we put a five in front of the carbon. One times five, that gives us five, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So what makes this equation challenging is first, we have two carbons in the product. So you gotta count all of those up. And then the other thing is to recognize that carbon is by itself. So leave that to last to do the balancing. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaO plus C. Thanks for watching.